there's this wonderful old saying that says, stick with the people who pull the magic out of you and not the madness. Well, on today's case, Ms. Sykes says she wishes she'd known that quote three years ago when she reconnected with her hometown beau, Mr. Roker. She says his inability to keep a job and his constant cheating have not only brought out the madness, but snuffed the magic out in her as well. She says there's nowhere else for this relationship to go but to the trash pile. And she's brought her biggest supporter, her mother, to back her up. Mrs. Williams, Mrs. Sykes' mom, says that her daughter's man is a stone cold loser and she wants him away from her daughter once and for all. Whoa, let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Sykes versus Roker. Thank you, Ms. Sykes, Mr. Roker. Ms. Sykes, you have opened the case today because you say the issues you have with the defendant have begun affecting your relationship with your mother. And you've come to my courtroom hoping to get some clarity. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Roker, you say that you love Ms. Sykes, but admit that this relationship won't work if she continues to allow her mother to come between the two of you. Yes, Your Honor. So I'm trying to figure out how a relationship that started off friends for the past 10 years, together as a couple for three years, has turned into something that neither one of you seems to be happy with. Ms. Sykes, tell me why we're in court today. So I came to court today because during this three-year relationship, but we were, even though we were friends for years, I gave him the benefit of doubt always. Mm -hmm. And I began to lose relationships with a lot of people trusting him and giving him basically my all. But he's a liar, he's a cheater, and now I'm basically over it. But he said he wants to still be together, and I don't even think that we could move forward from everything that's been going on. I'm gonna turn to Mr. Roker now to get his defense. Mr. Roker, what do you think? Um, I definitely wanna work this out. I wanna keep my lady. Uh, I do love her, but in the same sense, like, it's just a lot of other people that are involved that shouldn't be involved. It's a two-person relationship, it shouldn't be a third or a fourth, and um, I don't really know where we went wrong at, but like I said, like I'm here to just try to make it work. Why don't we start with this? Because I know one of the things that really has bothered you the most is from the beginning, you started off without him being a financial equal. Why don't you talk me through that? Well, at first, I was living with my mom when I first moved down here mm -hmm. to Atlanta from New York. so. He basically, we were inseparable, so he would always be over there, and then he basically moved in. So once he moved in, it just seemed like he was comfortable being under her roof. It wasn't going forward, he wasn't working, so my mom actually was paying the bills. I would contribute to her, but it would just be straight from me. You come back home, basically, after being in New York. Yes. And then you move your man into the house with you and your mother? Yes. Yana. And your man didn't bring a check with him when he came? No, he didn't. So basically, I was helping out, he wasn't helping out. Okay, I, your mom is here today. I'm going to call on her in a little while. Um, and, but I am so glad that she's here because you know I've got some questions for your mother on this one because she's been watching this whole thing since day one. Yes. So, Miss Sykes, you started off living with your mother. How long did y'all live with your mom? Uh, well, for like six months. Five, okay. Six months, yeah. And in that six month time, did you get a job? I always have a job. Okay. I love how you say that with pride. <laughs> always have a job. Yeah. I mean, I you know, I have to tell you, since sitting at this bench, I I find it very interesting that I actually have to ask people, um, do they have a job? Because I I don't know people that don't it's have a job. It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable as an adult. Yeah. You should want to take care of yourself. You shouldn't want to lean on nobody else. So which is going to turn? Which makes me turn to Mr. Roker. When you moved in with Miss Sykes and her mother, you were not working, sir? I was in between jobs. It wasn't the fact that I really wasn't just working. Like, I was just sitting around and not doing anything and being lazy. I was in between jobs. What does that mean, in between jobs? Well, basically, in between jobs means uh, the employment that I had at the time, they were letting go people because they didn't have enough hours to give out to all employees. So when I knew that I was getting let go, I was sitting here already looking for another job. He 
had a job. He came, he was so excited one day, came home, took him out, he got a job. And I'm excited for him, because now, in my mind, it's more income for the both of us. Yes, indeed. So, and for my, it helps my mom. Because I done added another person, another... Mouth adult, to feed. Exactly. So now, it's like she's feeding the both of us. Even though I'm helping... It wasn't she's her feeding the both of us. It, that definitely wasn't it. And I don't think everything is being spoken upon, like, I money. know, but Mr. Roker, here's the deal. You know me? I'm not about um, playing word games. Yes. Were you bringing checks into the house and contributing to the household no. finances? Yes, I was giving her money. I wasn't giving her mother money, but yes, I was giving Alexia money, yes. And how I much did. money was he giving It me? wasn't enough money. He only worked... When, once he came home with excitement, I was excited for him, he only went for about two weeks. But that two weeks you're working, you should come home with a check. And the money he came home with that he gave me was probably go to the store money, get some soap. Mr. Roker, how much money do you think you contributed during I, that time period? That time period, well over $1,000, for sure. It's hard to account, account how much money I was given when you're continuously giving somebody money and you're spending. So, but so I'm gonna, you know too. what? It's so interesting to me. <laughs> Lord has blessed me with a couple dollars. I always say three dollars and fifty cent because you know <laughs> I believe everybody is one paycheck away from homelessness. That's okay, right. so everybody got to work in my house. But I'm for real. If I'm giving somebody money, I know how much I gave them. I can tell you that right now. I know how much I'm giving you. But because yeah, I, I work hard for my money. It's hard to under, it's hard to really account when I'm sitting here giving money for living okay, there. Then we're also, can I'm, I say I'm the man please? in the relationship, so I'm taking us places. I'm not just sitting here letting her just do everything. That's not the case. So I went out one night, and a lot of his homeboys were there. One of his friends came. He was like, let me pull you to the side. He pulled me to the side. He told me he's seen Courtney leave the club with another female. A man uh, came to you and told you that information? Yes, and it was one of his friends. That is OK, well, better. I'm just going to say this to you right now. That right there is a little punk move, and it's a sneaky one. Mr. Roker, I'm, I'm just curious. Yes. I see you 31 years old. Yes. And for six months, you lived with your girlfriend and her mother. Yes. But you didn't have a steady job throughout that six months. Throughout that six months. I no. don't believe the no, jobs he had. I don't even believe he had the jobs, because he's a liar. Miss Sox, I'm going to come back to you, because after six months, y'all have been together longer than that. So what, what happened after six months? How did you, how did you, um... My mom wanted us to go. Honestly. Oh, you mean your mother told you it's time for you to take you and your deadbeat boyfriend out Not of here? Not me, but him. And of course, I love him, so I'm like, okay, you know what, we're gonna go. So where'd you go at that point? Not too far, still in the same um, area. No, but I mean, you moved to we your own place? We got our own place, yes. And how do you pay for that? Well, I work. Well, how did, she doesn't pay for it all by herself. That's what I'm saying. Like, that don't even make no you sense. You give me money, but it's not enough money. It's, so a, it's, how it's could, more like, than enough. It's more than enough. So between the two of you, you've been able to pay your bills, correct? I've been able to pay the bills. So I... do you pay the majority of the bills? Yes, Yana. Who pays the rent? Me. No. Online. She does not pay the rent all by herself. That's not. She Mr. Does Roker, not pay do the you? He's always as... partying. You always partying. You out oh. all night. Like I get the sense, Miss Sykes, you don't stories. trust him. No, I don't trust him. Tell I'm me why. I'm always something. Why? Tell well, me why. Well, I'm young. I party too. I enjoy myself with my money. So I went out one night, honestly, with my friends to the club. He had a family member, that DJ, and a lot of his home... He wasn't there that night, but a lot of his homeboys were there. I don't know if it was just because... Because it seemed like they're interested in me, too. So maybe, at first, I thought they just trying to throw dirt on his name to try to get with me. I'm not that type of female, so it wouldn't even... It wouldn't work that way anyway. But one of his friends came. He was like, let me pull you to the side. He pulled me to the side. He told me he's seen Courtney leave the club with another female. A man uh, came to you and told you that information? Yes, and it was one of his friends. That is OK, suspect. well, I'm just going to say this to you right now. That right there is a little punk move, and it's a sneaky one. So the first time somebody comes to me that's really my man's friend and says he's coming to me to pull me to the side, I'm already questioning, what's your motives? So I know you probably said, why is I he coming to me? I didn't believe it. But of course you're gonna have a little throw in exactly. your head. Like I do believe it a so little because it is your So what did you do with that information? I confronted Courtney. What happened? Once I got home, and Th that's he a problem in itself, though. No, no, I understand where she's coming from. She might have said mm, he got some 
strange motives. But at least I'm a. But I'm still. I'm gonna let you know what your boy's out here saying. Yes. But it wasn't her just sitting there trying to notify me. Like, listen, you got your friend saying this, that, and the third. But she was running with it like if that was her best friend. Because like, I'm if that always was her brother or something. something. Like she just knew. Like what happened when you confronted Mr. Roker with the information? Of course he denied it. Of he course. He denied it. Of course. You actually have proof that. Yes, your, I have proof. Your boyfriend was cheating yes. on you. Yes. But last year. He had a baby. Maybe that's where the money went the whole time. To the baby mother. Wow. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of stuff. It's just everything. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. All right, my mom, she's young. She's older, but she's young. She's outside also. She know a lot of people. A lot of people know me because of my mom. So now she, someone came to my mom and told her they seen him leave the hotel with two females. So now that's another story in itself. Two and even females? with that, right there, everybody that she's using has a problem or it shouldn't but even be sitting there talking. But they didn't even know you your, like that. Your mom that was someone that didn't, has a problem well, with the okay, relationship. You all have been together for a while now. Yes, Yana. But this is not just rumors. I get the feeling that there's I... a level of insecurity because um, you actually have proof that yes, your, I have proof. Your boyfriend was cheating yes. on you. Yes, we were living with my mom for six months. We got our own place, but last year, he had a baby. The baby is one years old now. So, of course, me hearing anything, it could sound suspect. So, while you were together, he living had a baby. in your own place... But I got, a, I got... I found out through a phone call, not through him How as a man. How did you find out? I'm just so curious about this. As I said before, we have mutual friends. So, of course, my I have a friend that knows the baby mother. So, she see baby shower pictures. I didn't even... I knew nothing about anything. So, I'm thinking, maybe that's where the money went the whole time, to the baby mother and to the that, newborn baby. That right baby. there is totally like, I no, just want to no, no, know no, no, how no. you That's found crazy. out. My friend gave me a up, call but... because she's seen something on Instagram, social media. What'd she see on Instagram? Pictures of a baby shower, but it's him and her name on the uh, baby shower invites. Wow. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of stuff. It's just everything. One so... second, darling. Let me turn to Mr. Roker for one minute. I got another woman pregnant. I admit that. And, you know... I was wrong for that. I understand that. But as far as, like, when it comes to social media, posting, I don't control nobody's accounts. And nor well, do I even know. Well, you could have controlled not nor, having nor a child did I even know. or just nor did sleeping I even with another female. You could have controlled posted. that. Were you at the baby shower? I, I stopped by there for a quick second. Oh, I stopped by there for a quick second. People it's did a, know that there. he was the so, father because you know, he stopped by. I stopped by. I slept by. But it was no pictures of me. And I'm I don't sorry. Know. I just got turned turn around because... They're just sometimes... And, and look, my jury... <laughs> one of my jurors is about to pass out because <laughs> she think you sound like a fool. OK? Oh, my God. She think you sound like a fool. Me standing here right now, I sound like a fool. But, or I am a fool. But... No, at the time, you're not even, a fool even, in the even, least Even bit. at the time, like, it's just not... I, you I went pregnant. to the woman's baby shower. I had to sit, like, I just didn't want it to go to another scenario of somebody coming in. How far along was the woman? At the time of the baby shower? Yeah. Like, about, I'm assuming, like, five months at the time. It was, like, four or five months at the time. Very... And you didn't think it would be well, this courteous is what happened. to tell the nah, woman you live with? Nah, yes, but this is what happened. At the time of me even dealing with that woman at that time, me and Alexia wasn't even getting along to that extent. Um, but you was... living in her house. Our house. It was it's just not. It was not just. But her, you're sleeping ours. in her bed. Our bed too. Like everything <laughs> wow. is. It, like it wasn't. But she, you coming, That's why I said that's it. She runs. She running the but narrative that's where of you're her coming, for everything. But that's but, but that's not, where you're crazy. coming. Cause you're not sleeping anywhere else but there. It was a little fling, whatever. No, no. And it's you're more a grown man. Couple months, a couple right months here. went by. I heard something of a. But you know, you're a grown man. You don't know how to use a condom. Yeah. Then you coming home and sleeping with me. Foul. It's disgusting. Oh, that's crazy. Thinking no, no, it's no. Disgusting. No, serious business. Do you, do you, do, I mean, do you hear yourself? Yes, I do. I want you to know that if I was your mother, 
because I'm old enough that I could be your mother. Yeah. I would snatch you by your Adam's apple if I heard this. I'm I would stuck. literally I, I, I snatch it out of your throat, I, right? I, I'd snatch your heart out of your chest. If you got even in a friends, courtroom like, even and looked somebody in the face with a smile on your face instead of hanging your head low to say that you were walking in and out of this woman's bed on a regular, every night basis, because she didn't say you were staying out. I mean, not for You nothing. were coming home. Yeah, Honor. But dealing with the side piece, got her pregnant. Alexi was going out too. I admit I messed up, and the difference is we both were playing the same game, and I was the one that just got caught up in the situation. That's it. So, if are you suggesting really... that Miss Sykes was also sleeping with other people? I mean, she not coming home every night as well, so, I mean, where, where's she sleeping at? I, where am I going? I live there, I'm paying there. If you're not coming I... home every night, then where are you sleeping at? What? And do you have some evidence? Because that's the way we deal. Do you have some evidence? Do I have tangible evidence now? No, I do not. I and never that... cheated. This is all I want to know. This is the first time that you've even brought this up to Miss Sykes, and the reason you're bringing it up now is because you caught. Nah, actually, it's not the fact that I just brought it up. It's the fact she that we're going to have a back and forth. I, if I don't, it's like, it's just a back and forth. My word against her word. I know, but, but, but Mr. Roper, time... here's a question. You now have a financial obligation that's outside of the one with Miss Sykes. Yeah, and that's being taken care of, not with a problem in the world. Okay. But I personally feel like a lot of stuff has been taken care of, but wasn't you wasn't taking care of me. And this is why my mother wanted me to get rid of him. And you know what? This is the, uh, 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 an optimal time for me to ask Miss Williams to please join the court. Miss Williams, would you please join us at the witness table? Because I've been watching you throughout these proceedings, and you have thrown your hand up to God for several times. I've watched you. Because it seems like you have wanted to make a comment. So, Miss Williams, Miss Regina Williams, yes. you are the plaintiff's mother. You have been a part of these two people's relationship before they started dealing with each other and then when they moved into your house. So Absolutely. tell me what it was like when the two of them were living in your home. This man is a loser. He's a liar. He's a cheater. Lived in my house. I sat there as long as I could and listened to the shenanigans. He came in right, though. He came in buying everything, groceries, giving up some money. That lasted probably two months out of the six. After the second month, it was like all kind of excuses. Like, uh, why you didn't go to the grocery store? You said you was coming back with some groceries. It could have been something as small as the dog chased me and I dropped the bags and I don't know where I dropped them at, so I ain't bring no groceries She's home today. Crazy. Just that's... trash excuses. Oh, that's crazy. For not providing anything he got after about two months. He got comfortable. Nah, that's outrageous this to even say here that type of is... excuse. <laughs> Judge Starr, first of all, I was providing for both of them for a while. Let's keep it real. Next time on Divorce Court, have you ever given Mr. Roker money? I gave him money all the time, but then I gave him one lump sum. Gave him the $2,000. Oh. Two wow. rats, he asked two rats. But how come you didn't tell me and you saying this because when first Because I trusted in... that he was doing this for you guys and your future and whatever he was doing, he was flipping some money and making things but happen. Also, I believed Courtney, it. Courtney, why you didn't tell me? I know the game. Like I told him, when I seen it, I told him, I said, listen, you can't hustle a hustler, son. You are not gonna play with me. There is a schlep rock cloud that hangs over the two of you. And all kind of rain, snow, and sleet will continue to fall down on this relationship until you grow up and grow a pair. <laughs>